Mandela said, if you want to create peace, don't talk to your friends, speak to your enemies so they become your partners. And that's what we've been trying to do in the Balkans for 10 years and what we are doing in Kosovo. A very important question for anybody who ventures into another country is what is the use of your intervention? So often I've been, people have said, oh, are you from the CIA? <clears throat> or are you some sort of spiritual tourist? And so you have to, it takes a lot of time to build up the trust between the various parties. So we offer that space where people who have been branding someone as a murderer or branding someone as a terrorist can in fact come together and start talking about substantive, difficult problems which need to be resolved. It is, oddly enough, a pastoral work as much as it is a political or conflict resolution type of thing. So can we, can we come then and see you? Good, thank you. Well, we'll see you in a few minutes. The key problem of the monasteries, and indeed of the local municipalities, is the ownership of the land and what happens on it. That's where the, that's where the, that's where the matter comes to a head, as it were. And um, there's a real need for some um, new thinking, creative thinking, about the use of land there. The local people are really fed up with the international NATO troops who guard of the monasteries. If there was a way in which the monasteries said to the local people, okay, let's see what we can do together. So you have a local symbolic type of reconciliation based on the land, which could be the most amazing um, example, model, if you like, throughout the world. A sort of civilization like pre Pre-Reformation in England, the, um, the great monasteries of Rivo and these other Cistercian monasteries were a real example of what um, a religious community could do, could help the economy and the people working the, the land could do for the religious community. One doesn't want to be too starry-eyed about it, but that is certainly a possibility. Peace building is actually very simple. You can get PhDs in it now. But basically, it consists of four elements. The first is standing in the shoes of the other. You, it's, there's too much victim going, stuff going on in the, these conflict situations. May make people feel good, doesn't change the situation. The second thing is you have to break the walls down, literally, the walls which <coughs> divide people uh, and, the, and the walls, as it were, in people's heads, the demonizing which goes on. Thirdly, you have to address the issue of land, because that everywhere you go in the world today where there's a conflict, there's a situation about land. And lastly, you then bring the people around in circles or in tables. So it's very simple, those four words. Shoes, walls, land, and tables. <laughs>